Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail uh, how to randomly select a sample from a data set. Okay? Now we're going to use the Excel's data analysis tool pack to help us with this random sampling from the data set. Uh, and actually there's two techniques that uh, the data analysis tool pack allows you to do. There's what's known as a pure random sample, okay? That's where each each observation is as equally likely to occur as any other observation, okay? But this, I suppose, random sampling is uh, sampling with replacement, okay? Uh, and then there's another technique known as systematic random sampling, where I suppose Excel randomly chooses the first data value, and then every interval, or we specify the interval with every, let's say, two, three, or four observations after that random selection we select the next data point. Okay? So the main difference between the random sampling technique and the systematic random sampling, okay? or I think uh, Excel's data analysis calls a periodic random sampling, yeah? is that with the periodic random sampling, we choose a, randomly choose a starting point, and then every number of units systematically after that particular starting point, we choose that value, where with the random sampling, we could choose values anywhere within this particular range. Okay. So to do this, to generate this random sampling, as I said, we're using the data analysis tool pack. I'm going to go to my data ribbon. Uh, I'm going to choose data analysis tool pack. So I choose data analysis tool pack. Uh, and I'm going to find the sampling option. Okay, Usually when it comes up initially, it's uh, the first option is a Nova single factor. But let's just scroll down to sampling. And here's sampling here. And I'm going to choose sampling. And I'm going to hit OK. And we get this pop-up window uh, comes up. Okay. So the pop-up window asks us for a number of, I suppose, uh, gives us a number of options, uh, and it's looking for our data set. So maybe what I should do is I should tell tell uh, the data analysis tool pack where we have located the data and from which we want to actually select randomly select our sample. So the input range, the field is active here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the first cell, uh, and I'm going to scroll down to the end here. Okay. So actually what we've highlighted is we've highlighted from C3 to C22. There's C3 here and here's C22. And that's the data set I want to randomly select from. Okay. So the sampling method, okay, actually what we're just going to do is we're just going to choose uh, we're just going to choose random initially here. Okay. So we choose random, okay? And what I'm going to say here is I'm going to define how many samples or how many values we'd like to randomly select. And in this case, what I want to do is I want to randomly select, let's say, 10 values uh, from this collection of observations. Okay? And the output range I'm going to specify to be in this particular data set. I don't know why that keeps, keeps uh, I suppose, popping over there when I, when, I click a, when I click a value. Okay, so I'm going to specify the output range to be under random sample. Okay, so I'm going to specify it to be E3. There we go. And that's it. That's how hard it is to generate a random selection uh, of 10 values, in this case, uh, from a particular data series. Okay, and I'm going to hit OK on that. And you can see that what we have here is we have the random selection. 49, 50, 53, 48, so on and so forth. Okay. Okay, so what's the other technique? The other technique is this systematic uh, way of uh, producing a random sample. So what we'll do is we go to data analysis, Sampling is already is already selected here. I'll hit OK, but this time I'll look for a periodic sample. Okay, and what I need to do is I need to specify the period. So after originally after it selects its first value randomly, okay, I'm going to specify how many values after that particular value in this particular in this particular list uh, should we should we select. So for example, if the first value selected is 45. And if I specify this to be 2, well, the next value to be selected after 45 would be not 39, but 55. The next value to be selected after that would be not 44, but 63. And you can see that the window width, or the period associated with the selection, is, is a certain number of units. And in their case here, well, actually, let's make it a little bit wider than, uh, wider than, uh, than 2. Let's say we select every fourth value. My output range, I'm going to specify, instead of being E3, I'm going to specify it to be under G, G3. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select the value, and what we get is we get our, we get our specific values. Now what's going to happening here is this, is uh, in this case, this is a nice example. In my data analysis, when I chose, uh, when I chose random sample, okay, 
uh, I suppose uh, the period I set as four here, okay. So all it's doing is it's randomly selecting down through this particular data set until it reaches the end. So it doesn't flip back around, okay? So let's see where we started. So in relation to my selection, the first value I got was 45, okay? So where's, sorry, 55. So where's 55? Well, 55 could be this value here, okay? Is there any other 55 in the list? No, there's not. So that was my first selection. So let me just highlight that as yellow, okay? That was my first selection. We specified every fourth value after our initial selection. So we're going to choose not 44, that's 1, 2, 3. The next value should be 47, okay? Which it is. What's the next value? We've got 1, 2, 3. The next value should be 49, which it is, okay? What's the next value? 53, 2, 3. The next value should be 48, which it is, okay? And then the final value should be 1, 2, 3. Three, four, okay, which gives us forty-five in this particular case here. Okay, the last value selected. Okay, so that's primarily the difference between our systematic approach and our random approach. Okay, so if you're looking for a sample of a specific size, okay, and if this data set represents the responses from a, a number of participants, okay, where you've ordered the participants, if you just want to randomly select from them, okay, well, you just use the random sample option. If you want to select randomly an initial person and then to select every fourth or fifth or 100th person after that, we'd use the systematic or the periodic approach uh, using the data analysis tool pack. Okay, guys, uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and I hope this video was somewhat intuitive uh, and helpful. Okay, so thanks for your time. Bye-bye.